Okay, what comes across as selling, an example in the plumbing world, we're out there on the toilet, and then I were talking to her about, you know, a new water softener. You just want to sell me stuff. And we, then we've lost on even the toilet. I don't trust you. Hey, 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 service pros, welcome to the 435th episode of Potty Talk. And hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Service Pro. Hey, and I'm looking forward to talking about this, this topic on this episode of Potty Talk. You know, hey, are you struggling, you know, to closing your calls? Is sales something that you struggle with? Now, the odds are you probably don't, okay? If um, a lot of times the, 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 the home service owner, um, you know, um, owner, is the reason why we started our, our businesses, right? We're probably pretty good, not only at our craft, but also dealing with customers and, and selling, okay, quote unquote selling, okay? Um, so you may not struggle, um, but maybe you're, you're hiring guys, okay? You get, you get your first guy or whatever, and they just, they just can't, they can't do it, okay? Um, you know, they're, they're coming against the objections, you know, like, I, I need to talk with my husband, you know, what are they, you know, I need to talk with my husband, or, or I'm just getting estimates, okay? <laughs> or, um, oh, whoa, that's more than I thought it would be. Um, well, I need to think about it, okay? Those kinds of things, okay? Which all the objection, objections are the same. Okay, they're all, the, they're all the same objection. You know, I'll get to that. In fact, on that, hey, if you'll stick with me on this episode, by the time we get done, I'm, I'm going to share with you, all right, my exact system that I used and now hundreds of my clients have used, all right, to close over 98% of their calls, okay? In fact, for years, okay, for years, I had an average running of, of 97.8. So I mean, I've got clients who are doing better than I am now. Um, taking the system and even done better than I am that, that, that we did with it. Okay. But that's still, that's still really good. How would you like to have a 97.8% closing percentage? All right. On, on your calls. All right. It's great. All right. And it's easy to do. I'm not talking to your guys. Okay. I had, my, I had my guys doing that. I could do that. Okay. But more importantly, I had my guys able to do that or right, without a bunch of sales, tra- you know, special sales training. Like that's the kind of thing that just irks me off. You know, all this, I need, I, I need, you know, special sales training on this or that, okay? Really, really, that's a cop-out. It's an excuse, okay? Um, it's, look, no one wakes up in the morning, and in our case with plumbing, okay, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, all right? You've probably heard me say that before, okay? No one wakes up and, you know, wants to call HVAC tech, all right? No one wants to wake up and wakes up in the morning and wants to call an electrician, all right? No one wakes up in the morning, no matter what it is, you know, <laughs> lawn care. They're not really looking to talk to us. Okay, they're not excited to talk with us. Okay, they're not excited to get to get this thing done. Okay, that that's the thing we got we got to kind of understand first of all. Okay, when we're setting up of how you know how do we get you know the sale. Okay, we got to understand what's going on with our customer, where they're at. Okay, and that's a biggie right there. Okay, the groundwork we got to understand. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call us. That's where they're at. Okay. Also, we got to understand. Okay, before we get in, all right, to, to the system here. All right, the only system you'll need for your guys, you know, for you that, that matter, okay? It's so simple. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you right here, all right? You do it right now, okay? Um, j- just by doing this, you know, we've had our clients, you know, double, triple, you know, not only their average ticket, but then their, their closing percentage, okay? All right? So cl- not only closing more calls, but their average ticket's gone up, okay? And it's, it's simple. Anyone can do it, okay? It's, it's a simple system here. And I'm going to go over it here. But we also must realize not only that no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call you, okay, and that's where they're at, but it's also time is the value, okay? Time is the value, okay? It is what you're selling, okay? You're not selling plumbing, okay? You're not, you know, you're not selling heating and cooling, okay? You're not selling wire, okay? Whatever it is, okay? All right? All right? You're selling time, and you must understand not only that's what you're selling, but that's what the customer values. That's your value, okay, is their time. So you got to have the customers, and that's the customer you want to attract, that their time is worth more um, than, than the money, okay? Their time is worth more than the money. And that's also what they're valuing is their time, not the money. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so you must have that kind of customer, all right? Also, it's important that we qualify our customers, okay? And one major way that we qualify our customers is by having something like a diagnostic fee. You got to stop the free estimates, okay? People gladly have all kinds of, 
You know, they'll gladly have you driving, driving all over town. I call them dead man driving. Okay. Driving all over town, giving free estimates. Is that, if that's you, stop it. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's hurting you. Not only that your, your, your time, you're losing all your time. You're not getting paid for all your time. Okay. Um, but, but it's also not qualifying the customers, okay? Because if a customer is not willing to pay, you know, $49 for a diagnostic fee that is waived if you do any work whatsoever, if, if that scares them, they're not going to pay you anything, okay? You're wasting your time on that customer, okay? Um, at a minimum, it's a harder sell, okay? It's a, it's a harder sell, all right? And then finally, um, before we even get to the customer, we want to triage the calls, Okay, so we're, we're going to schedule those calls, all right? By the way, it's time. So with, in the customer's mind, the time is today. So we want to schedule those calls today. We're going to schedule all the calls today. Well, it's just me and a truck, and there's 100 calls. Do I schedule them all for today? All for the day. You're going to schedule all the calls for today. It would be great to have 100 calls, right? If you get, do you have 100 calls, what does that tell you? I need more guys, okay? <laughs> I need to get more guys working for me. It's, you don't want to be spreading them out, okay? It's not saying, oh, I got, I got calls for 100 days. Nope. All right. I need, I need guys. All right. But you're going you're gonna to schedule the calls for the day, and then you're going to triage the calls. Okay. You're going to prioritize for profits. So you're going to look at those jobs. All right. And which customer has the, um, is, is more of a situation where it's, um, they, they got to have it done. That's the best way to say it. Okay. An example where the idea of triaging comes from, you know, hospitals. Okay, so if you, know, you can walk into a hospital and you can walk into a hospital and, and maybe you have a, a slight, um, you know, you're a cold, you're, you're sick, um, flu symptoms, you know, whatever. Okay, even something minor like maybe a light burn or something like that. Okay, and they'll have you wait. But someone, so you could be waiting there for, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour or whatever. And then some guy can come in here with a gunshot wound and they talk, they take him right in. Okay, um, that's triaging. Okay, that, that call, that guy has to be taken care of right now. It's life or death. Well, you know, our service situation may not be life or death, but it, it can be a tougher situation. So in the, like in the plumbing world, um, you know, Mrs. Jones may have called in with a sewer smell that, that she keeps getting, okay? And, but she called in at, you know, first thing in the morning, 7.59, all right? It was right, <laughs> and it's been there, okay? And, but then we're getting that, and so we, we got her on a schedule for the morning, but we get a call in at 9 o'clock that, that I have no hot water or a leaking water heater. We're going to that call right now, okay? That's what you want to do. That's what I mean by triaging the calls, okay? Prioritizing for profit, okay? We're going to go on that call. Does that make sense, okay? So it's important that we have, do the, uh, have those, that kind of understanding and do those kinds of things. You do those kinds of things, and then you have with the, the simple service sales system, okay? It's a slam dunk. It's a close. It's, it's, you're set up. In, in the right manner. Does that make sense? Okay, let's get to it here. Okay, so what are, what are the three things that, that you need to do, okay, that, that the service uh, sales system has, has in mind for you, okay, or the process here? Okay, first of all, number one, you want to provide multiple options. Multiple options. Stop the broke fix. Well, I just want to do for the customer just, just what they need. I'm giving them just what they need because I'm not, I'm not ripping them off or taking advantage of them. No, that's not what's happening. Okay, what's happening is you're freaking the customer out. Okay, you're giving them a reason to say no. Remember, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber or whoever. Okay, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call you. All right, which also the, the close sister of that is no one wakes up in the morning and wants to spend money with a plumber. Okay, they don't want to spend the money. And they're looking for any reason to say no, any reason to say no. So we think if I give him the one, and here's what the problem is, Mrs. Jones, and I give him the one, the one solution, and we think it's a 50-50, yes or no, it's, no, it's really more like, uh, you know, it's more like 80-20, 80-20, you know, 80 no, uh, 20 yes. And in reality, it's more like 90-10, 90 no and, and 10 yes. And the 90, the no will sound something like, well, I need to talk with my husband, or I'm just calling around getting prices, those kinds of things. That's, that's the no, okay? And the reason that is, is because there's no choice, all right? They're, they're, choice gives the customer um, control, all right? When we give just the one option, 
we've, we've taken the customers already in a, um, a situation that's out of control for them. They didn't wake up in the morning and want to call you or spend money. They're feeling out of control. And now we have just the one solution, the one choice. They don't have control. Okay. By providing options, it gives the customer control, gives them choice. Choice equals control. And what's happening there, okay, and by the way, it's, it's the Goldilocks syndrome, okay, which is we're only going to provide three options, okay. We're a three-option world. Think about it, okay. Not, not four options, not five options, not the one option, and I'll do this if we throw in our super-duper whatever. I'll throw this in for free and bundle and all that. No, just three options, a good, better, best. We're a good, better, best world, okay. So the options are simple, all right. The good is the option. That's the first option on why Mrs. Jones called you out. You're going to earn her trust. Don't start. A lot of times, you know, I hear these sales gurus, whatever in this, you know, you sell down to sell up. Okay. So, you know, if we have a toilet call and it's a flapper, it's leaking. They hit Mrs. Jones up with a new toilet right away. Look, you and I, as the owners can probably can, can kind of carry that off. Regular, your tech can't. All right. All right. Your techs can't. And they don't care to. All right. 40 years. I've been, I've been in the trades for over 40 years. All right, 30 years of my own businesses. I can tell you all the sales training in the world. All right, you're not going to make these guys salesmen. They don't want to be salesmen. So you systemize the process. All right, with, and you systemize it with customers who are already bent towards, even though they didn't wake up in the morning and want to call a plumber, all right, or spend money with a plumber, they called you. So it is your sales that they called you. So it's already sold. They called you. It's, it's us that screwed up by making the customer feel uncomfortable and us going into selling mode, okay? So it's just three options, good, better, and best. I'll use the toilet example. You know, you get out there and it's a flapper. Well, Mrs. Jones, that, you know, the reason you called us out, that tinkly sound you're hearing in the middle of the night, well, it's this flapper, this flapper thing here, okay? And here's what it takes to replace that. I also left you a price here for, we look at what we call a minor toilet rebuild, Okay, it's replacing the flapper and the, the toilet fill valve. The reason I offer that is because when the flapper is going out, a lot of times the fill valve is going out at the same time. They, they work with one another. So but that's an option for you here. And here's what it takes to take care of that. But also, you know, I've noticed that, you know, your toilet's old, older than 10 years here. And I know it kind of has a lazy flush. You notice how however it kind of stop up on you every once in a while? It just seems to you're not carry the waste away. Well, it's liming up on you, okay? Um, and I can show you what I mean by that. But, but here's, um, here's a cost to have a new toilet replaced, all right? Which one you want to do, all right? That gives the customer choice. Also, it makes sense, okay, to, to the customer, okay? Um, it gives them some, the customer something to say no to, okay? All right, there's something to say no to. Okay, I, I, um, I'm not going to do the new toilet. I understand why you offer me the new toilet, okay? By the way, that makes sense to the customer because it's in the, it's in the lane, all right, we're dealing with the toilet. The problem she called us out for, even though she didn't realize what it was with the toilet, but she called us out for that. It makes sense, even though you know, the repair term may sound like it's a little basic. Okay, it's a flapper. And why you want to you know, replace the toilet or what we're offering her a toilet? It makes sense that we're offering a toilet because we're dealing with a toilet. It's in the lane. All right, does that make sense? All right, you got to understand that with the sales. It's, psycho it's a, psychologically how that's working with the customer. It makes sense to them. It makes, it, we don't come across like we're selling to them. Okay, what comes across as selling, an example in the plumbing world, we're out there on a the toilet, and then I we're talking to her about, you know, a new water softener. You just want to sell me stuff. Then, we, then we've lost on even the toilet. I don't trust you, okay? And that trust that, that comes out by saying, well, I need to talk to my husband. Okay, that's why that comes out. All right, but three, okay, it gives them choice, something to say no to, and price perspective. Finally, price pers perspective, all right? How many times have you done this that you've gone on, you know, Amazon? And I know you're looking for, I don't know, whatever, okay? Um, you know, I'm trying to think of last time, you know, what, what, looking on pricing something on, on, on Amazon, okay? Um, please, a, a camera gear. I'll go, I'll go with camera gear, okay? We're moving to, you know, we're, we're in our we're new studio, we're in a new home, where our studio's in our new home, and all this, and, and need, a, need a couple um, gear pieces, okay? And go, and go online and look at the camera, okay? And I, I have an idea in mind, you know, last time we bought equipment, this, you know, the camera I was looking at, okay, it was 1500 bucks, okay? I'm thinking about 1500 bucks, but now I'm looking at it, and what I'm thinking I'm, I'm needing or wanting 
you know, it's now 5,000 bucks, 5,000. Whoa. Well, that, that's, that's more than what I thought. That wasn't, wasn't even my budget. Okay. I was thinking more like 15, but we get to that. Um, I'm starting, I'm starting to look at things. All of a sudden I start seeing, um, you know, the cameras that cover what I'm looking for that are more in the 2,500 to $3,000 range. Okay. Now all of a sudden it doesn't seem that much. Even though $3,000 is twice as much as what I was thinking about and what I spent last time, but it's almost half again as much as what, you know, the, 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 the most expensive thing that I saw. That's price perspective. Okay, I'm now more comfortable. All right, this one's too hot. This one's too cold, but this one's just right, as Goldilocks put it. Okay, that's exactly how our customers think. And it's an easy thing to systemize. Okay, provide multiple options. All right. Number two, number two, offer credible discount. Offer a credible discount. Okay, what do I mean by credible? Okay, first of all, um, your tech is your tech personally, okay, or you in front of the customer, you're only gonna offer one discount. Okay. You're not gonna get into this thing of of uh, bundling, okay, if you um, you know, if you do this, I'll throw in that and this and okay, well, okay, you want that too? Well, if you do that and this, I'll also do that. No, you know, you're not, you lose trust, okay? Again, we're also talking about how we can systemize this, this sales process that the majority of your team can do this, okay? You can do this. You, you can go on the fly. You can figure things out on the fly, but you can't scale. You can't grow with you being able to go on the fly, or having someone else, a salesman, you know, go on the fly for you to kind of cover everybody, all right? This, you got to have this word that you guys can do this, okay? And you guys can't sell, all right, okay? I've seen it year after year, years, over 40 years, okay? I've, I've been to all the circuses, okay? Seen it all, been all, you know, the dog and pony shows, everything, okay? It, do, it doesn't matter, okay? Some are really entertaining. Some of these guys and gals, I, I mean, they're, the way they, they teach the sales and all, it's fun. And, and, and of course, it makes sense because, you know, it's humanly, you understand it. It's how, it's how you're being sold. But the bottom line is your guys can't or won't do it. Okay, I've seen it. It doesn't matter how many times you bring, bring it in. This they can do because I've seen it. I've seen it with my, my guys, literally tens into the hundreds of guys of my, my company. And I've now had hundreds, even the thousands of clients have done this and succeeded. Okay, it is this simple. Okay, if you have it lined up and you do these things, you can systemize this. Okay, all right. But you can only offer a credible discount. Okay, only one. Your guy there is going to offer one discount. Okay. And, and it has to be credible in the sense that it makes sense to the customer. So um, just taking 25 bucks off something willy-nilly is not a credible discount. Your customer is going to think, well, why didn't you just sell it to me, offer it to me $25 less? Okay, it doesn't, it, that, that doesn't sound credible. It doesn't make sense to your customer. It sounds like you're, you're, you're just pulling numbers out of your arse, okay? All right? What does make sense is the idea uh, you know, like a coupon. You know, think, think about it. That's coupon. People use coupons. We, we're used to that. Um, you know, it's just a piece of paper that says, you know, this is half off or 25 bucks off or whatever. Okay, we get that. Well, I get 25 bucks off because this little piece of paper says I do. All right? It is that silly, but it works that, that simply. Okay? So you, you're going to give um, a discount. And a lot of times... You know, just in this first pushback, you're going to offer the options, okay? And when they, when they look at it, they're going to go, whoa, okay, that was more than, more than I thought, okay? Uh, you know, I want to get this done, but that, that's, that's pretty, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it right now, you know, that kind of thing. And you get into that, okay, you wait to see where they push back and expect pushback. I always work with my guys and teach, expect pushback. Again, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call you. No one wants to spend money with you. Expect pushback. It's not personal. It's not that you're overpriced. It's not that. It's that they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it, okay? They want to spend money on that, okay? So expect pushback. So when you work to that and push back, then you can pull out, well, Mrs. Jones, I noticed that you're a first-time customer, and we have a 10% discount for first-time customers, and I can give you that, which would be $100 off. So let's say it's $1,000, $100 off. Would that, would that help? Okay? And... I, it will be credible to the customer. A lot of times, just that getting something back helps them get over that pain of, oh, I got to spend money on this. 
I don't want to do this. Okay. That's exactly what's happening. But a lot of times I get, I get a little break. Okay. That gets it, you know, that, that, that kind of helps alleviate the pain a little bit. Okay. But it has to be credible. And in this, in this case, why that was, why the hundred dollars could come off is because you're a first time customer. Okay. Well, I'm a first time. Yeah, that's right. I am a first time customer. Okay. That makes sense. All right. That's a credible discount. And it can be, you know, simple. It's first time customer. You know, it can be a repeat customer. We, we had a, a, um, a pet, pet lover discount. Okay. I know it sounds silly. Okay. Um, but it's just a simple way of being able to give a credible discount. And, you know, it's pretty obvious things that, that are obvious, you know, so, Hey, yeah, I you, you know, you have, you have your, you have a dog or whatever. What's the dog's name? Oh, we love dogs. Well, you know, Attaboy Plumbing, we, we love dogs too. And we love families and we get, you know, we get it. And so we, we have a, a pet lover's discount of 10%. And I, I'm all authorized to give you that. Does that help? Okay. That works. I know it sounds silly, but that works. I've seen it time and time and time and time and time and time again. Okay. Again, it's just that uh, it's a credible discount and just a little bit it just helps alleviate that pain. Okay. It's, it's not like a full shot that knocks you out, but just kind of just like when you go, you go, you go to the dentist or whatever, and they just do a little topical numb or whatever. That's what a discount is. Okay. Just kind of gives a little bit of a topical numb, makes it easier to have to pay money for this thing that they didn't want to spend money on. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. All right. It works just, but one, only one, your, your tech can only offer one credible discount. Okay. All right. Hey, speaking of offering something, I have something to offer you. All right. For joining me. Check this out. Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. Your personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. To learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash Applicant Pro. All right, there we go. Welcome back. Okay, welcome back. Hey, we're talking about, all right, the service sales system. How I, okay, how I was able to close 97.8% of all my calls. When I said I, not only I could, but my guys could. Okay, that's the important thing. All right, that, that's what enables you to scale. All right, okay, my guys could. And now I've seen it now hundreds of times with, with my clients who have gone through the Success Academy, all right, and have learned the service sales system. Okay. And have used that. All right. All right. It works. Okay. And it's easy. All right. We're going to provide multiple, multiple options. All right. Is key. Okay. And the key is three. Three is the key. All right. All right. And then we're going to offer a credible discount. We have pushback. Wait to the pushback. Hey, if you offer the discount before, okay, before you give the price, it, it has, it has no value. Okay. So for example, it, it, if you say, Hey, it's a thousand dollars, Mrs. Jones to, T take care of this, this issue, but I noticed that you're a, um, a, a first-time customer, and we give our first-time customers a 10% discount, so it's $100 off, so it's $900. That has no value, okay? That no nothing happened there. It mean, means nothing. $900 is still a lot, okay? And even though you said discount, it wasn't, the $1,000 didn't register, okay? So you must, all right, give the regular price first, and, and with the value, you know, why it's that much, what are you doing, what, what all does that entail, okay? And then let them say, let's do it or not do it, okay? Or come back at you, whoa, that was more, really, that, that was more than I was thinking, okay? Then you pull out the credible discount, okay, in one, all right? So we've, we've provided the uh, credible discount, okay? And here's, here, here's the... Uh, the piece de, de la resistance. Did I say that right? Okay, here's the special sauce. Here, here's the thing. Here, here is the closer, okay? Here, and, and this is the thing, okay? Honestly, okay, this is, this is the thing that's probably the toughest that I always had to remind my guys and was always on and focused on, okay, and, and get your guys to do, okay? If you think, okay, if this is so easy to get to 97.8%, why, why, why is it more doing, why, why, you know? Well, here's honestly, being transparent, here's the, here's the hardest thing to get you guys to do, okay, that you, you got to do. All right, so we've provided options, all right, provided, we've got some pushback, provided a credible discount, but still, okay, well, I'm not sure. I, I need to talk to my husband to get it taken care of today. If you'll come back 
every single time. If you'll come and do this, all right, just, at, just say this. I'm going to give you the phrase. Are you listening? Okay. Are you listening to the podcast? All right. Listen closer. All right. If you're watching, okay. All right. Come in here. Come, all right. Come in. All right. And, and also listen closely. All right. Ask this question. What's in your budget to get it taken care of today, Mrs. Jones? Or Mrs. Jones, what's in your budget to get it taken care of today? You must ask that question, okay? No matter what they say. Well, I need to take the, the cat to get washed and then, and then um, to ballet lessons. Your cat? Don't come out. <laughs> okay. No. Well, Mrs. Jones, what's in your budget to get it taken care of today? All right? Ask that question. Answer that, they answer that, ask that questions, and they answer that question, no matter what they say. They, you get to mention a dollar amount, okay? No matter if they say, well, I thought you were going to pay me 500 bucks to do the job. Okay, here's the important thing, okay? Your guy has to not, you know, argue with them. Well, we can't afford, we can't afford to pay you. If we went out and paid all of our customers what to do, okay, I know I'm exaggerating, but it's, an example could be is just, um, well, we can't, we can't do it for $400. We can't, buy, we can't buy the equipment for $400. You can't explain it to the customer that way. It doesn't matter. Of years, it, does, it doesn't matter. The customer, the customer doesn't care. Okay, it doesn't matter. You won't do it. It won't work. All right? Just take it. Well, um, $400. I thought, you know, on our budget was $400. Well, Mrs. Jones, um, look, I can't make that decision, but I know that we love earning the work of our first-time customers, or whatever the reason you gave the credible discount, whatever the reason of the credible discounts for. Mrs. Jones, you know, I, I can't make that decision, but I know, I, you know we love our pet lovers' families. Let me call in the office. They know all the pricing and, and let them make the decision, okay? All right, so you're the good cop. That's what's happening here. You're the good cop, all right? The office is going to be the bad cop, all right? So then you're going to pick up... You can use your phone. You're going to call the office or somebody. If you're, if you're the owner still in the truck, you need to call your wife, okay? You need to call somebody or even fake the call. But you need to do it right in front of the customer, okay? Right in front of the customer. Not out the truck, okay? Right in front of the customer. Hey, hey, hey Joe. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm here with Mrs. Jones, and I'm here yeah, working on a, on a water heater. And, um, and she, needs, uh, she needs the water heater rebuilt, and, uh, you know, and, and it, but it's, it's outside of her budget and she is, they are a pet lover family. I gave the pet lover family discount, but it's just still outside her budget. And I asked what, what her budget was to get it taken care of today. And she said $400 and I know, you know, I, I can't make that decision, but I, you, I know, you know, the schedule and everything. Hey, what, that, that's their budget. What, what, how can, how can we take care of Mrs. Jones? So you're, you're the good cop. Okay. Now the office is the bad cop. All right. Now, what the office is going to need to know, or you're going to need to know, is what your break-even is. Okay, and that's a different discussion, all right? But you have your break-even. It includes all your time, okay, all your time. All right, that's your bottom number, all right? You much rather do that a whole month. By the way, I've never had to go a whole month. I call this the, the, the drop dead, okay? All right, I've, I've never had to go a whole month in, in my companies, or I haven't noticed any clients have ever had to go a whole, you know, not even a week of doing this. But if you did, you'd wind up making money. You don't want it being very profitable. The important is to sell that time. Okay, you want to take care of that Mrs. Jones right then. The problem is we start, we think, well, they're just going cheap or whatever. Well, I'll make it up on the next call. There'll be another call. You never make up the time. You, you don't make it up. That's how we keep falling farther and farther behind. Okay, all right, because we don't make up that time right then. You want to you sell that time right then. So you much rather do it at your break even, okay, what I call your drop dead. All right, and we learn the academy, what we call your HVI, your hourly value index, it includes all your time and all that. You much rather make that, okay? And you still, if you did nothing but that all month, you'd be profitable, okay? You'd be feeling good, all right? But it never happens like that. But you must, every single job, get down to where you ask Mrs. Jones, well, Mrs. Jones, what's in your budget to get taken care of today? And then go through that process. And I can tell you, that even when you come back, so you you know your break your break even you know maybe you know six hundred bucks okay so you're gonna come back well tell Mrs Jones we'd love to take care of her and uh, we love our pet pet lover families and but we need to do it you know if I can do it right now if we can do it right now we can do it at our cost at you know six hundred and forty dollars okay they will take it every single time every single time every uh, in fact in, in over twenty years. Of, of doing it this way, 
I can, I can personally can only think in my business one time. Now, I know it's probably, uh, probably happened more, okay, through, through all the years and all, all the customers, but I can only think of one, one time when they didn't go with it. And this was a landlord situation. In fact, it was a $1,000 call, and they wanted to do it for $100. And it was below, way below our break even. And we just, you, know, you don't want to, you don't want to spend money on the time. You much rather lose some time than spend money, lose time and spend money, okay, on the loss, okay? You don't want to do that. Um, to gain the customer. That's the only time I could think. And that was a situation where it wasn't a good qualified customer. I mean, you know, we're back to the beginning of that. Um, you know, it was a landlord situation. Okay. The, the money was more valuable, how cheaply they could go than the time because it wasn't their house. It wasn't their time. It wasn't their bother. You see what I'm saying? Okay. But you, you have it, the right customer and you've gone through this, this process, this sales type process that I've had my guy, I've had guys that are all tatted up and ear gauges, you know, but they're in their uniform and all that, and they're good techs, just running through this process, and over 98%, okay, all right, of, of closing the calls, because it's, it's just the psychology of it, okay, ask for their price, okay, just ask for their price at the end, Mrs. Jones, what's in your budget to get it taken care of today, all right, you do that, and no matter what you come back with, okay, they will go with it. By the way, on a note on this, let's, let's say that, uh, you know, this is a $1,000 job and, and Mrs. Jones wanted it for, um, you know, said, well, I didn't think it'd be any more than 600 bucks. Okay. Well, I can't do that. And we do the drop dead, right? And you come back and you realize your drop dead is 600 bucks. Okay. Never give the customer their exact number. So it would cover, her number would have covered what your break even is. Say your break even was 500 bucks. And she said, 600 bucks? Well, that covers my break even. Well, cool. Okay, yeah. Well, Mr. Jones, okay, yeah, we'll do it for 600 bucks. Never do that. H have you ever bid for something, you know, maybe a, you know, a piece of equipment or a car or something like that? Anything, right? And you put a bid in and you get your bid, you know, the, fir the first time out. And it's like, oh, I could have got it for less. Or if you sold something, you know. And right away, you know, it sold just like that. I mean, you had 100 people call you. But, oh, I could have got more. Well, it's the same kind of psychology. So even though Mrs. Jones said, I only have 600 bucks, and to come back and say, well, sure, we'll do it for 600 bucks, she'll still, it'll still feel like a loss. So always come back for more, okay? So in this case, you know, I would say, you know, well, sure, we do it today for you, but we do it right now, okay, because we, we have the open time slot, which you do, that time slot. You're not lying, Okay, we're open here. It's okay to let your customers know that you have free time. That, then that makes, that makes sense of why you're willing to do it for less. Okay, and you didn't come, well, we're open, all right? You know, it's just like having, you know, open hotel rooms or, you know, open slots on, you know, seats on a plane, right? You can get them for less, okay? Like Priceline or whatever, okay? It's the same kind of um, thought pattern, okay? We understand that. Okay, but you want it, but you want to make it a win. So if she said 600 bucks, you know, I'd come back with, you know, 690 or 710 or something like that. Okay. Every single time we did that, they went, they go. All right. It's easy. All right. This is a very simple, easy process if you do it. Okay. And do it though. All right. So there you go. That's, that's the service sales system. Hey, and if you want to learn more about the service sales system, you know, and really fine tune this as well as other aspects of your home service business. Okay. The marketing. All right. How to, how to, how to attract and hire the best guys, okay? That's a big part of your business. And how, how, do you, how do you retain them, okay? How do you pay them? What's the best pay? That's the best all the way around, okay? Um, what, what's the best, you know, I mentioned, uh, you know, the numbers. It's kind of the boring thing, but what, what's an important number? Like HVI, what is that? How, how, how has that number helped me run my business? Why is that the only number I need to know, okay? If you want to know those kinds of things, all right, to really truly, um, you know, take your, your service business to the next level, Okay, or, you know, have a successful, self-sustaining, okay, which is a key word right there, self-sustaining, able to run on its own, all right, without you, without you babysitting, and very profitable, okay, you need the Success Academy, okay, and right now, I'm giving you a 14-day free trial to the Success Academy, where we teach the business of home service, okay, to so check it out, all right, to learn more, all right, and then just grab your 14-day free trial, Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash success. All right, do it. Okay, there you go. All right, that's key. You can implement that.
tomorrow or right now, okay? You can implement this, the service sales system right now. Do it, okay? There we go. Hey, but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully, wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So get out there. Be dangerous. Be dangerous.